I'm Mike Hackard. I lead Hackard Law, a Northern California-based law firm that focuses on probate estates and trust litigation. I'm the one who's ultimately responsible for taking a new case. It's an interesting and it's an imperfect process because we know we're not magicians. We know that we can't magically turn a fact pattern into a viable legal case. And fact patterns are only part of the picture. So when we delve deeper, they're stories of real family traumas and strained personal relationships. Being spurned by a parent, even a parent with Alzheimer's without memory or taken advantage of by a step-parent or sibling, it's just something generally not shrugged off. When I speak with new people, I can often hear the hurt in their voices. I know, though, that I need to go beyond the emotional case. It's important, but I need to go beyond. For example, who are the participants in this family trauma? Parents, grandparents, siblings, caregivers, aunts, uncles, third-party interlopers. And what are the assets and where are the assets? It's one thing to be at battle over a Bay Area house and another to be engaged in a tug of war over a $25,000 IRA. What beneficiary shares are we talking about? Are we talking about all of an estate or half of an estate or maybe just one-sixth of a trust? It matters. Finally, if we take the case, how is it progressing? We've taken cases that looked really strong at the beginning just to see them evolve into a morass of evidence, ultimately giving little credence or help to the plaintiff's initial claims. More than once, we've been settling in the state dispute where it becomes really clear why a parent or grandparent disinherited their child or grandchild. The truth is, we don't always end up liking our clients. On the other hand, there are times where as a case progresses, I see the clients in a very different light. A case that looks viable at the beginning may really strengthen as evidence is gathered and more facts are uncovered. A single mother tells her story, an abused childhood, early pregnancy, struggle to raise her children alone, success then as a mother, as an employee. I think about what I would have done if I'd walked a mile in her shoes. Would I have been so heroic? Maybe not. We're not perfect. I've heard judges say that even the strongest case has no more than a two-thirds chance of winning at trial. The converse. Even the weakest case has a one-third chance of winning. Now, that's an interesting observation. Clients don't always want to hear it. I guess we don't either. They might think that their case is different. Their case is the exception. Well, no, it really isn't. Sometimes during or after a trial, our mediation, our clients end up not liking us. It does happen. Other times, heartfelt appreciation is expressed by our clients and their families. We're human. It's gratifying to hear appreciation. We're engaged in helping people and practicing our profession to the best of our abilities. Sure, we have our own quirks, strengths, and weaknesses. We help people who like us have their own quirks, strengths, and weaknesses. We go forward the best that we can. At Hacker Law, we work to take substantial cases where we think that we can make a significant difference and there is a wrongdoer who can be made financially accountable for their wrongdoing. We regularly litigate in California's largest urban areas, and we particularly focus on Northern California, including Sacramento and Contra Costa, Alameda, San Mateo, and Santa Clara counties. If you'd like to speak with us about your case, then call us at 916-313-3030. We'll be happy to speak with you. Thank you.